That looks pretty fancy. And I got an Ushanka on. I got my Ushanka. Does my armor have something on it that, like, prevents them from even getting close to me? Because I really wasn't trying to hurt you, man. I promise. Uh, 50, 50. Welcome back, guys. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back on Revenge of the Sea Team. And as you can see, I've done a little building. Yes. I figured there seems to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing uh, with Abyssal Craft. And I thought, why not build in the Abyssal Wasteland, right? And so I went ahead and moved my two portals. Well, okay, let me let me restate that. Um, I moved this portal in the overworld, and it relocated itself here. And I didn't move it far. I just moved it from on top of my roof to inside the uh, portal building. But apparently that was a huge jump and it moved me quite a bit. And then I just popped this one in here with it. But the old one I think is actually still out there, which is kind of funny. But I mean, I only spent like 30 seconds in there and then we finished the last episode. So, you know, there it is. Um, let's see, I believe the old location. Yeah, you can see the tip of it, the red thing right over there on my cursor um, from where the old portals were. So I didn't move too far away. But I want to show you something before we get into today's episode, uh, because there's a couple things that I want to get done uh, prior to going to um, the Dreadlands and actually, you know, check stuff out. Yeah, there it is. There's our old location. So first thing I want to point out is these pillars over here. Now, without Wyale or not Wyale, but uh, the Morph mod or any of those mods or whatever, I could see it being a bit of a challenge to get up there. There are like 250 blocks up there or whatever. But on the top of each one of those pillars, there's a block of diamonds. Now, if I didn't have 300 and some odd diamonds already, I'd probably go try to get those. But I just don't want to spend the time. So, I just want to let you know, there's blocks of diamonds in the tops of those pillars. Hey, get away. Get away. Get away. All right. But the other thing I want to show you, and this is, uh, well, I, I don't know if it's showing you or basically asking your opinion. It's a little bit of both here. So I came down here because usually those leather slaga things are in here or whatever. And I think there's like usually some kind of liquid in these. I, I know in the overworld I've seen liquid in them or whatever. But usually these are filled up, but they're not. But then I was looking at these things and I see that there's these eight little, I don't want to say pillars. But it definitely looks like if you were to make um, a, a, a statue or a shrine of some sort, this would be the place to put them and make this room a little more magical. So I'm going to spend a little time uh, after this episode uh, looking into that because I literally only came in here a couple seconds before I started recording. And so I kind of want to check that out and see what that's all about because I, I'm thinking there's got to be there's got to be something to them. But anyways, what we're going to be doing now. Wait, hold on. Why am I not wearing my armor? Oh, that's right. I took it off. OK, so, um, yeah, I should probably put armor on before I continue around here. So this is the house in the Abyssal Wasteland, but we're going to head back now and um, get going on uh, today's episode, basically. So here we go. All right. So, oh yeah, no, wait, my armor's in here. Yeah, there it is. All right. So we'd already made the Abyssal armor and we saw what that did, right? And it's not nearly as good as my Tritanium armor because that stuff's pretty studly. But I thought, why not try to make the next level armor uh, for Abyssal Craft and see how that is. And then I looked around and figured I actually might be able to do even more than that. So I haven't showed you the little change. I put up some walls to make sure it's completely lights out in there. And then I've got the auto grinder working or whatever like we saw in the last episode. So that little dude, he'll move over there, get ground up, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. We know how the grinder works. And I'm going to eventually pretty all this up and stuff. But for the time being, see, I got, look at this. This is just awesome. I'm getting so many, so many, so many. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make the next set of armor. And what I'm thinking about doing is literally uh, around, because I don't really know what to decorate the uh, little house in the Abyssal Wasteland with. So I thought, hey, why don't we decorate it with armor? All the armors and stuff like that. And maybe like some weapon stations and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Asimo! What's up? It's one of my robot buddies. What's up, homie? What's up? If I hit you, will you hit me back? Okay, yeah, so that will aggro you. Okay. I'm ah, just wondering. 
Yeah, yeah, but I'm still so much stronger than you. All right, so anyways, um, yeah, so I was thinking about doing some armor and armor stands there or whatever, but I want to see how studly some of this armor really is because I figure the first set, just the, just the basic purple set that I already have, was actually pretty cool, and that was the first of like five sets that you can make, and so I'm thinking if we try the second tier, and I should have, I do have enough, okay, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, if I have enough ya. What am I doing? Here we go. To make the next set, I think it's just with these. Yes. All right. So th we are gonna knock these bad boys out here and check out the difference between them. I think. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, man, what a waste. Although I think I can use that helmet again, so I'm okay with that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Um, yeah, I believe I can use that har helmet for the next set of armor, so I'm okay with making that mistake. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead. You know what? Let's make a couple armor stands real quick. Um, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I think that's the recipe. I think it's iron and stone slabs, I believe. So I think that should be enough to make a couple of these. I hope they're stackable. Okay, there we go. So like that, and like that. They are stackable, cool. So let's go ahead and put you in here for right now. You guys are gonna eventually move to, oops, um, the other world. But for right now, we're gonna put you here. And I'm going to go ahead and kick off this armor real quick. I think that's really cool looking armor. I like that armor a lot. And then we're going to grab the abyssal armor here. And throw you on there. Oh. Okay, apparently I want to put you on. Oh yeah, I want to test out the difference. Alright. So I know this gives me some traits. What does this give me? This gives me speed and water breathing. Okay. That's cool. What does this set give me though? This set gives me speed two, resistance, water breathing, and night vision. Ooh. So I'm going to be really fast now. Look at that. 180 or 280% speed. That's freaking awesome. Okay. So while playing with that, I do want to check out one other thing. Um, it, I don't know how to explain it. It is something I saw that was just freaking awesome. Uh, through artifice and <clears throat> if it works I just I'm gonna dig on it so um, I forget what they were called yeah there they are right there okay so artifice has like these upgrades for uh, some of the armor and stuff like that and it's elastic soles uh, feather falling boot upgrade right so we check out the recipe on this bad boy um, it's just leather and slime balls all right, so let's grab uh, slime one, two. Now that says, okay, this says feather fall in three. I doubt one little upgrade is going to give me three. I'm thinking maybe if I have to do this three times or so. So maybe we do a whole bunch. So, okay, we'll do that for right now. We'll do it so we can make three of these and we'll see. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, cool. Because if this works, and this actually upgrades my freaking armor, that's just freaking amazing. So if I take you... Oh, no, wait, sorry. Because it's the only way I can think of doing it with the artifice stuff is like this. Okay. Put you on here, and then put the boots. Ha ha! Feather the following one. Okay, that's what I thought. So let's try this. And see if that goes to two. Ha! Feather the following two. Feather Fallen 3. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so there's a bunch of these. Um, armor upgrade. There they are. Okay. Uh, we got Thorns. We have uh, Protection 3. And Fire Protection, Blast Protection, or Projectile Protection. Okay, Thorns I'm definitely thinking would be worthwhile. <coughs> and uh, Prop 3 would definitely be worthwhile. Um... I don't really care about fire all that much, I don't think. Well, 
Okay, what's the recipe for Prot 3? Prot 3 is two leather and two string. That's it? Hold on, what's thorns? Uh, three iron bars and... So, wait, so I'll need nine. Is it two or three? Two. Okay. So I'll need six. Okay. Okay, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Well, what was the other one? Uh, projectile protection? Yeah, that's good because I'm always getting shot. Uh, wool. Okay. So let's get some string. S T R. Okay. I'm going to need uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then leather. I know I don't... I know it doesn't seem like it makes sense the way I count, but it just... It works for me. Um, I'm going to need iron, so I'm going to need two of you and six of you. Like, it's kind of confusing the way I do stuff. I'm like, two, 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 and, you know, it's the way I visualize uh, what the recipe is. Oh, I need some wool. Uh, wool. I visualize the recipe, and then I just think it in my head. I don't know why it works that way, but that's how it works for me. So, all right, so it was like this and like that. Okay. Wow, it's got to be in the exact spot. Okay. Uh, three of these. Cool. And then it was like this and like that. And three of those. Cool. And this and that. And two of those. All right. So let's, let's tweak out our armor here. And I do want to try to get um, the, uh, what's it called? The next level armor, I think I can do it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can. And projectile protection. Awesome. So we got some freaking pretty decked out armor here. Um, I mean, I got Prot 3, Thorns 2, Prot 3, uh, Feather Fallen 3, Speed Resistor. Wow. I, this is just freaking awesome stuff. Um, now, you know, I'm going to throw that stuff in there. Uh, junk, junk, junk. Armor stands, you can go there. Um, yeah, now the reason I said I think I'll be able to use this guy, the helmet here, is because I've got some more of these. I've got a whole bunch of this that I won't need to make the upgrade stuff. Um, what do I need? I need, oh, pyrithium. Pyrithium, I don't have any right now. Okay, sulfur, let's grab a stack of that. Um, what I'm making right now is pyrithium, which is what we use to smelt the liquid uh, carillium ore. So I know I'm not saying anything as I'm just grabbing these random things, but I, I actually did a lot of prep for this episode because I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And yeah, there we go. All right. So I should have four stacks here. Did I not request the coal? Did I not request the coal? Coal? Oh, because I only have 43 of them. That makes sense. I don't have all of that uh, done up. So we are making some pyrithium here. Hopefully this isn't shape crafting. Okay, cool. Cool. So we got a whole bunch of that now. Sweet. And now we're going to take this with this and bam. There we go. That's a lot now. That is a lot. Dude, I, like I said, I could find, I found like three of these blocks, only three and all that digging I did. So to now have uh, almost a stack and a half, that's just absolutely amazing. Like, I don't even think that should be possible, but hey, it is, so whatever. So now we're going to try to make the next level armor. I don't remember exactly how it works, but I know there's other parts and I'm just getting them all ready right now. Okay, so we got that. All right, so the next level armor, because I'm thinking if we're going to head to the Dreadlands, uh, having the best armor possible for the Dreadlands would probably be the best bet, right? So what do we need? Uh, yes, it's this one. All right, so I need the boots with two of these Krillian plates and two ingots, okay? And these Krillian plates are six and three. Okay. Uh, the helmet is... Wow, that's actually a lot. That that better be a pretty badass helmet. Um, all right, so I'm going to need three of these. Four, five of these? Yes. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I need ten of these. 
So, oh, perfect. Ten. That was absolutely perfect. All right. Uh, but I'm going to need more of this roof ore. I think I got some in here. Oh, what am I doing? Um, no, but I can smelt this stuff down and get two from it. And I believe I can craft up these. Let me get, let me grab a whole stack. There we go. I believe, and just don't quote me on this yet. You put a whole bunch of these around. Um, I hate when it like gets off by a little bit. Okay, come on, seriously. There we go. All right, if I put you here and do that, yes, it gives me some more of those chunks. Okay, cool. And that'll give me 20 more ingots. That should be enough. We should be able to do this. Oh, do I have any more of those pearls? Do I have any more of those pearls? I got 37 more pearls. Sweet. So we're going to run over to our redstone furnace and get this. Oh, man, if I can get a full set of the second, like next level armor. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, now I got plenty of those pearls. That's for sure. Uh, throw those in here. And I should get two first. I should have 20 ingots. Gives me 27. How many total do I need? I need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Um, once I get to 13, we'll just stop. Oh, man. I am so pumped right now. I am so, so, so pumped. So, so, so pumped. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's doing two per. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? What's my, my thing skitting out here? Okay. So if I do this, can I shift them in? Yes! Okay, there's one. There's two. Um, where'd my boots go? Hey! Hey! Did my boots, like, get sucked up over here? Where'd my boots go? Where are the boots? Oh, boots are right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I hate being by this gravitational anomaly because it does suck, like, everything up. And, uh, it can make for a bad day. All right, awesome. So we've got this next level armor. Let's go check this stuff out. And then we are going to head to the dreaded plague lands or whatever the heck it's called and check that area out. I don't, it didn't seem like there was too many crazy mobs, but you never know. Um... Let's go ahead and just put you right here for right now. There we go. Dink, 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 dink. And then put you on. Okay, let's see how sick this armor looks. I need to switch this because that gun sticking out of me is always annoying. That looks pretty fancy. And I got an Ushanka on. I got my Ushanka. Oh, that, that, okay, hold on. What does this do for us though? That's the question. Because my armor is obviously completely maxed out. What does this do for us? Just night vision? That's it? That that doesn't seem right. I mean, the durability is a lot higher. But that doesn't seem right. That's like double durability. Huh. I wonder how much stronger it really is. If that really makes it worthwhile or not. Uh, let's go test it out. I can go stand in with some mobs over here and see if they do any damage. Come on, bring it on, boys! Do you do damage? Oh, you're all dead. Um, that's... Where you at? Where you at? Come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Okay, you don't seem to do much damage. Yeah, you don't seem to be doing any damage. Um, I can dig that. Okay, I can dig that. Sure. I don't have speed, though. I love the speed boost from the other armor. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all this stuff up. And... Okay, bink, 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 bink. And... Tritanium? No, your Tritanium can stay here. And... Bring you with me. Turn the pick off. Turn my sword off. And let's go! To the Dreadlands. Oh, I'm so, so excited about this. I got the purple ones too, yeah. Okay. And I should probably try doing some regular enchants too. 
Maybe if I get some enchanted armor and then I can throw some additional enchantments on it, that would be freaking sick. Oh, now I'm getting excited. Like, I'm like, what else can we do? Ah, ah, ah. All right, Dreadlands, here we come. Fully armored up. I kind of want to make, like, one of the swords. Like, this, like, a pistol sword. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, where's it at right there? I'm pretty sure it's just a stick with those two, right? Yeah, refined Corellium. How much damage is it? To a nine? No, no my, my blood sword still does way better than that. Hold on, there's, like, another set here. Boots of the Depth. See, I, see, I didn't even see some of these. Uh, dreaded Abyssal Knight boots. Um, God, and there's like another set down here. Yeah. Oh, good grief. There's so much we got to check out. All right. Uh, which side? Armor's going to go on this side. So we'll just set you guys up right here, here, and here. And the Abyssal Knight armor right there. And my shyness stuff right there. And then I'm not going to take you off right now, so that's okay. Um, huh. How do I make this stuff? Okay, so I take the regular stuff, add some gems, some look of Corellium. I got one of those, I got those, a lily pad, and it has to be done here. Vines, oh, I got all this. And 300, oh, I can make that stuff too. I wonder which one's better. Well, you know what? We're gonna take a trip to the Dreadlands. Here we go. And we're gonna look around there, and. The there we go. We're going to take a look around because I don't have a lot of time left. And I don't want this to be too long of an episode because I don't... Whoa. Whoa, we're in a very different area than we were last time. Right in the middle of a tree. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I had a... I don't remember where my other portal was at. It's got to be pretty close to it here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, 160 blocks away. Um, let me switch that right now, actually. Let's go ahead and remove you. And put you here. New portal. If I can spell. Save. All right. So, all right. So, I was just kind of looking around at what we needed. And I kind of want to grab some of this dirt here. Because I think bringing some red to that green world would be awesome. So, I might go ahead and grab some right now. I'm just trying to think of like building materials, actually, which is really funny. Um, but this bright red grass, I, I think it's really cool looking. And maybe one of these trees. Um, do I have my axe on me? I do. All right. Except I don't know if these leaves decay at the same rate as like overworld leaves. I mean, the wood does, so that's cool. I have a feeling it's going to be some cool looking red wood, so. Um. Oh, there we go. Get the blocked update. No saplings? Ha ha. Ooh. One's like purified in Darklands Oak Sapling and a Dreadlands Wood Sapling. Interesting. Is there more wood up in the Ah, there it is. Alright, so we got a couple saplings. Now, the purple stuff I believe is like pure. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? Sound like my stomach growling. There's a couple things we can kill. Ah, here we go. Um, see, I don't believe they'll hurt me. Um, does my armor have something on it that, like, prevents them from even getting close to me? Because I really wasn't trying to hurt you, man. I promise. That's kind of cool. Like, if they even get near me, it hurts them. Uh, let's see, what about the rest of these guys? Let's pull the sword. Oh, you're kidding me. Like, nothing can get near me. Um. Okay, I'm not going to say that this armor is OP or anything. But. Uh, I don't know how they're going to fight me if they can't even get next to me. So what kind of stuff do we pick up now? 
Uh, some dread fragments. Some chunks of abyssal night. All right, all right. I know we're eventually gonna have to go into the mountain pot. Look how cool that freaking looks. I wanna go over this purple area over here. Um, now, is this water or is this like, yeah, it's abyssal night. So this is like a purified area, apparently. <laughs> Demon chicken? Demon pig? There's some crazy stuff going on here. They're all dropping rotten flesh. And some sulfur. What are you, anyways? What are you called? I don't need any more mine stones. Oh, I need. I know I need to grab some of this material here. Uh, this. Oh, that's Dreadland's grass. Uh, that's probably that stone I'm going to need. But I'm going to get some of this Bisselnite stone. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, my inventory is getting a little full. Let's go ahead and just shift everything over to the golden bag of holding here. Um, that's good right there. And let's go get some of the stone. Because I'm going to need the stone uh, to make the transmuter and the and or the crystallizer. I forget which one's which. But can I shoot you with this? Yes, I can. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ectoplasm. I'm always looking for ectoplasm. All right, so, wow, I just realized I'm pretty high elevation. Um, and if this is anything like the green areas, I don't even need torches or anything, because apparently it just, everything stays lit. Although it still does the whole, like, you know, like arrows, or like the... The red X and stuff like that, so who knows? But uh yeah, oh well, well, well that's a lot of that was a lot more than I thought of it. Again. Okay. Um I think it was some more decorative blocks in the wasteland. But I think it, they can't even get next to me. Like this is so awesome. I like I can't even be hurt here. How is the the boss man gonna even fight me? Nothing can even touch me. Well, I mean, hey, future reference. If you come to the D Dreadlands or Deadlands or whatever this place is called, um, bring this armor and you will have no issues. Of course, I figure if you're at the point where you can start building this armor, you would have no issues anyways. Oh, I just want to go check out that area right over there. I'm going to fly now. That just looks so cool. Like, what is that? Oh, what's this? Is it just kind of goes into the ground right there? Interesting. Okay. So this is the Dreadlands Forest. What is this? Purified Dreadlands. Interesting. And it's all just a Abyssal Night Stone. I really, I'm curious as to. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just drop all of that. I don't need that much. Just pick some up. No, that didn't work. Oh, uh, shoot. Oh, uh, which one is it? Given? The frick? I don't know. I don't need that much, though, so I'm going to drop some of this stuff. That's just too much. Chunk of Abyssalite? Dreaded Chunk of Abyssalite. Dreaded Fragment? Okay. So what I'm thinking is, uh, Safari Net. Catch a couple of these guys. And, uh, then I can start making the Dreaded stuff. Although I'm sure I have to, like, make an altar here. Oh, God. Gotta do a Chance Cube while we're here. I mean, sh doesn't seem like anything can mess with me anyways. So let's push our luck. Um, all Iron Armor. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that's kind of useless. Just saying. Nothing against all iron armor, but... <laughs> I don't like that one. I don't. And now i got to go get my stuff back. 
All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, I'm going to continue to gather resources. And then that way in the next episode... Man, I can't believe I died. <laughs> I'm going to continue, yeah, gathering up resources. And then that way in the next episode, we can start making some of the other stuff uh, in the mod. Using, like, the uh, transmuter or whatever and crystallizer, whatever it's called. So I'm going to head back. I'm going to get my gear. I'm going to gather some more resources. I'm not going to get any more freaking chance cubes because i want to stay alive all right so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did i'd always appreciate a like and uh if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like this please subscribe and let me know what you're looking for in the comments there you know i like to check out all the different mods and really kind of get a you know a feel for what mods are the most popular and whatnot so by all means hit me up let me know until next time guys i'm slaughter havoc and i'm out of here peace